So now we're on the far side of the Valley of the Kings here at Deir El Medina, or Badi Mi, is that yeah, right? Correct. That's the, the no, ancient speak, name. You speak ancient digital language. <laughs> yes, oh, I'm getting there. I'm yeah, getting that's there. It. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so this is the, the workers' village here. This is where all of the workers who did all that incredible artistic work that we saw in the Valley of the Kings lived during their time working there. So tell us a little bit about kind of the, the lives of the workers here and, and how they worked over at the Valley of the Kings. No, this village, we can say it is a very systemic village, have their own rules and courts and uh, judges and they have a mayor of the village uh, and there is a logistic services. Some people look up, looked after the people, the workers here, bring them the water, bring them the food, all what they need. Also, we have a jail and we have a schools, we have a kitchen, storage rooms, so many, so many things to help uh, the people or the artisans and the workers who lives in this village. So this village started to, to be, uh, I mean, completed during the new kingdom period, during the reign of King Tutmosis the first, the father of Queen Hatshepsut. Uh, he started to build these achievements here, the room, the, 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 I mean, the buildings here, the houses. It's very well and very clear. Uh, it's a very crowded houses. Uh, the, 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 the numbers of the people who live or the workers who, who used to live inside this uh, village or those houses change from year to year, from period to period, from king to king, actually. And all of them, they are sharing the same walls, but the, 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 the sizes of the houses actually changed from the uh, categories, the, the ranking of the people. Actually, if, if you are a high official, that I mean, the big chief of workers, you have a, a good house, a big mm -hmm. house. You are, you're professional a little bit, uh, I mean, lower that you will have a good house, not bad. And then until you have the smallest one. So uh, in this, in, uh, I mean, village of workers, we discovered a lot of fragments. We, we call it uh, uh, ostraca. Ostraca is a piece from pottery or piece of uh, bone, uh, animal bones or human bones, whatever, I mean. So uh, we discovered some, uh, not human boots, but animal boots actually, and the buttery and the piece of stones. So we discovered so many uh, informations. They would write on the bones. Right in the bones, yes. And also uh, the uh, buttery and the piece of stones. And the pottery. Everything about their life, their cultures, to how they live, the, 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 the communications between each other, the contracts, the marriage stealers, the marriage, I mean, uh, contracts so everything we've discovered here i think that 80 percent of the social life of uh, of the ancient egyptian and the, all the information of the social life we're talking from the village of forkers of or their medina yeah. so this is one of the most important things about this so when the workers died they buried in the same place but facing to their houses that mean this is the first life house and this is the afterlife house exactly facing facing to each other yeah, okay. so the, the, the tombs here where the people are buried is yes. like the afterlife house. So Correct. there's some really well-decorated tombs in addition to the village. Yes, they should have a very good tomb because it's a very... Uh, they are the chief of uh, artists and the artists who draw the tombs of the Valley of the Kings. So they should have a very good tomb. <laughs> yeah, and you mentioned a really important point there about, about like 80% of the information we have about like the artists and kind of everyday Egyptians yeah, come, comes yeah, from this yeah, site. Because yes. so many of the temples and the Valley of the Kings and everything tell us about the rulers, but we don't know a lot about kind of the average people, uh, the less powerful people. Yeah, yeah, the average people, so the less powerful. We took it from here and we studied it. And the, the most of those Ostraka has been studied in Leiden University in uh, Netherlands, actually. Uh, you know, so many things we discovered here, yeah. Temple for God at the shrines, so many things. Yeah, mm -hmm. fascinating. So, uh, another another really unique, very impressive site. Yeah, yeah, this is a very great site. Uh 
gonna be thin for this one. Yeah. Yeah. Watch your head. 